Putin allowed Prigozhin to do this operation. The Kremlin allowed the head of Wagner, Yevgeny Prigozhin, to continue part of the operations in Africa. Bloomberg published information about this with reference to sources. According to the information, we are talking about the activities of Wagner in the Central African Republic. Putin has allowed the continuation of Wagner's operations in Africa. The Russian Ministry of Defense cannot take over the operations of Wagner in the Central African Republic. The Russian military administration needs private contractors to achieve Moscow's goal in Sudan and elsewhere. It should be noted that the Kremlin confirmed that Prigozhin held a meeting with Putin in the Kremlin on June the 29th, five days after the uprising, which lasted more than three hours. By building an army of thousands of guns for hire, Wagner has for years given the Kremlin a way to pursue its foreign policy in Africa on a shoestring, making inroads at the expense of the US and former colonial power France with the added bonus of deniability. Wagner will stay in Africa, that's for sure, said Sergei Markov, a political consultant with close Kremlin ties. But whom it will report to, Prigozhin or another oligarch, has yet to be decided. Prigozhin's main asset to African leaders was his access to Putin, which makes him less useful than he was, said a person in a Russian state company with knowledge of Africa operations who requested anonymity to talk about the issue.